Welcome to the online lectures for software engineering. In today's class, we'll be beginning with the topic software quality assurance. Now, what is software quality assurance? So software quality assurance, it encompasses of six things. The first one is the software quality assurance process. That is what process you follow within the software quality assurance. The second one is the software quality assurance, SQA is short form for software quality assurance, and it is a quality control and the quality control tasks. Now, what are going to be the quality control tasks? The quality control tasks are going to be some technical reviews. That is, if you conduct some specific re reviews about the technology that you're being developing, like an interview session, then you get to know where your project stands. And you're also going to have certain testing strategies, a multi-tier testing strategies are going to be there. Then you're going to have effective software engineering practices. You're going to follow some specific methods and tools. Then the fourth one is you're going to control all the work that is done. And if any changes are made within the software, you're also going to follow those. Then you're also going to follow a procedure. And this procedure is going to see whether you're following what needs to be developed. You're going to ensure so that uh, you can ensure that the software that you're developing that you want to develop is the one that you're developing. Then you have a measurement and reporting mechanism. Now measurement is going to be the work that you've been doing and reporting mechanism if they are if you're falling short of your deadlines something like that these things are going to be within the reporting mechanism when you're not full when you might not be able to uh, reach the deadline in time or there are some issues within the technology or some specific bugs errors are there that are not being resolved or some requirements problem is there that is they are not full they are not implemented the way the user wants them to implement so these are the things that your software quality assurance is going to encompass. So these are six things that software quality assurance is going to have. Now, now there are a few terms that we need to know. Now, starting with the term quality. Now here, quality is defined as a characteristic or as a characteristic of or attribute of something. Now, what is actually an attribute? An attribute, it can be said as a measurable characteristic. Now, if suppose there is a person, for that specific person, the attribute can be his age. Now, this age, it is a measurable characteristic. It is a number. He can have his weight. That is, again, a number. His identification number, that can be again a number. House number, it has a combination of characters and numbers. So these are your attributes. These are your measurable characteristics. Now there are two types of quality, quality of design and quality of confirmance. The first one is quality of design. Now this quality of design, it refers to the characteristic that designers specify on a specific item. Now, let's take a few examples of quality of design. This can be the grade of material that you're using, what quality it is. It can be the performance. The specifications 
or tolerance also on a specific application. So these are your qualities of design. Then the next one is the quality of conformance. Now this quality of conformance, it is the degree to which the design specifications are followed during manufacturing. That is what are the specifications that you're following while you're producing that particular software. And let's take a few examples in this. Or we can say that uh, within the quality of conformance, the greater the degree of conformance is there, the higher is going to be the level or the quality of conformance. That is, uh, if you have the degree of conformance is high, that means that the quality of that particular product and the quality of conformance is also high. If greater is the degree of conformance, then higher is going to be your quality of conformance. Then the next term is software quality. Now the software quality, it is defined as conformance to explicitly stated functions. That is, you want some specific functions, some specific features you want within the software. So these becomes your explicitly stated functions and performance requirements. That is, you want the, this particular software to be some percentage of accuracy you want. That is your performance requirement. And explicitly stated document development standard, that is, if you're developing a particular software, you want that particular software to have the best quality standards. So you, are, you need to follow that specific standard. This can be an ISO certified standard that you need to follow while developing the standard and implicit characteristic that are expected of all professional development now these things these are stated and some characteristics that the end user is not going to state but he wants that particular software some specific characteristics that need to be present within the software that like the user interface it should be simple the performance should be very high these are the things that are expected while you're developing the software. Now, in software development, the quality of design, that is whenever you're designing the software, the quality of design, it encompasses a few things. That is requirements. When you want the quality design to be very well, you want it to be the best, then you are going to focus upon the requirement that needs to be there within the software. Then some specific specifications that you need to follow and the design of the system, whereas the quality of conformance is an issue focused primarily on implementation. So this particular quality of conformance, as you've seen that as high as the degree of quality of conformance, higher is going to be the conformance. So this is how the quality of conformance becomes an issue for implementation. Now, if the specific implementation, if the implementation follows the design and the resulting system meets all the requirements, then the quality of conformance is going to be high. Now, this issue can be resolved if the implementation is going to follow the design and the requirements that the system needs to meet. So, this is going to give you a high quality of conformance. Now the software quality assurance, it is an umbrella activity that is applied throughout the software process. Now umbrella activities within the first unit we have studied within the first class, the different umbrella activities. Now those umbrella activities, they are applied to a any software in an iterative manner, in a sequential manner. Now this, it encompasses of a quality management process. That is your SQA process. As I've previously mentioned. Then the next is effective software engineering technology. That what technology is specifically used for designing the software. 
formal technical reviews these are used so that you're going to avoid errors you can follow you can meet the deadlines then multi tier testing strategy so that you ensure there are no bugs within the software and the particular software is doing its job it is it is doing what it was designed for that is it serves the purpose or not you going to ensure that it serves the purpose then control of software document and the changes made to it now whenever you are developing a software there are going to be a few changes the these changes can be there by the end user side or from the stakeholder side so whatever changes you are making within the software they need to be documented and they need to be and taken confirmance from the software product manager so that you have everything in written that these changes were made by the request of some end user or stakeholder and do these are being approved by the manager then the next is a procedure to ensure compliance with software development standards that is when you are developing a standard when you when you have decided that some specific standards need to be met so you need to have a process that is if you need to meet if you need to achieve a specific goal you need to have some specific steps that you need to follow so you these steps are your procedures and your goal becomes your standard the next is measurement and reporting mechanism measurement is it is going to ensure that these specific standards are met whether you are meeting the deadlines and reporting mechanism if there are any shortcomings within the software those can be reported to the managers so this is your software quality assurance now coming on to the background issues now the quality control and assurance are essential activities for any business that is produces product to be used by others that is whenever you are into a business of developing software the main thing is quality control and that is your software quality assurance is the main thing you need to ensure that the quality is the best now this quality control when the, the within the first place when this quality when the software quality assurance was started the software quality assurance sorry this quality control it was the responsibility of the person that have designed the product the design or the person who had built that specific product he was only responsible for maintaining that particular the, sorry he was only responsible for controlling that software but as time passed the quality control it became um, the responsive it is not it is not only the responsible of the person who have built the software this has become a responsibility of people other than the designer now first quality assurance and control function it was introduced at the bell labs in 1916 and as it was developed in 1916 then it spread rapidly throughout the entire world it spread through the entire manufacturing world the sqa group serves as the customer in house representative that is now what is the customer in house means that this is the people who perform the sqa they must look at the software from the customer's point of view now in house means it is like you are not the one only who is designing the software you are going to look yourself as the one who is going to use the software that is called as your customer's point of view that so sqa is going to provide you with this in house representation